Social media platforms have become one of the best sources for new leads and referrals for creative services, freelancers, and for most entrepreneurs, really. But the question remains, how do we actually use social media platforms to find clients for our creative business? I'm Aura McKay. Welcome to Coaching for Creatives. This is a weekly live Facebook broadcast through my uh, Facebook community, The Business of Creativity. So join us there to catch us live. If you're watching this on the replay or the recording, welcome. Please do post any of your questions or comments in the thread below. Today, we're going to be talking about how do we use social media platforms to find clients for our business. The message happens over and over again. Oh, you just got to go to Facebook and hang out in the groups and you can find clients there. Or, oh, just go to LinkedIn. You can find lots of clients there. And it sounds really simple and totally straightforward and easy, but how do you actually do it? How do you find clients on a social media platform? First, as with anything, if you're trying to find something, you need to know what you're looking for. It really matters when you're clear about who are your best leads, who are your best referrals, who are your best clients. And maybe it's different depending on what you're focusing on in growing in your business. So for instance, I might be looking for clients that are ready to deep dive into marketing. So I would be looking for a specific kind of client who's ready to do marketing, but maybe my marketing program has already started and it's over. And instead I want to be focusing on clients who really want community and connection and collaboration and are looking for a mastermind group. So even though they might be the same kind of client in terms of a general description, all of my clients are creative services, freelancers, like photographers, videographers, writers, and designers. But sometimes I want to be messaging or connecting with a specific kind of lead or a specific kind of client. So my question for you is, what kind of client are you looking for right now? If you are watching this on the replay or in my YouTube channel, let me know what kind of clients that you're looking for specifically. And I'll happily um, answer your comment and tell you exactly how I think you might be able to leverage social media platforms to find your clients. Because it really does change depending on who you're looking for. Many of us as creative service providers we're looking for other small to medium-sized businesses to serve. But some of us are looking directly for consumers. For instance, if you are a family photographer or a portrait photographer, you're going to be wanting to look for families or people who want portraits. That's a little bit different than looking for people who want business headshots or who want corporate portraits. So you want to get really clear on who are you looking for? What kind of client do you actually want to find as a referral or as a lead, because that's going to determine the platform. Once you've chosen your social media platform, then there are specific ways that you can leverage that platform and specific kinds of etiquette that you might want to know about before you go trolling for new business on a social media platform. So we're on Facebook Live right now. So let's talk about how do you use Facebook specifically to find clients for your creative business. Now let's look at something like pet photography, for instance. So pet photography, you know that you're looking for pet owners, but that might be a little bit general. Maybe right now your ideal pet owner referral is someone who's gotten a new puppy or someone who has a new addition to their family. So then you might look for specifically Facebook groups that are new puppy owner Facebook groups or how to integrate a new pet into your family. You can search Facebook for groups, posts, and people related to a specific topic, related to a specific hashtag. When you find those groups, 
when you find a, a group of people that might be your ideal client, let's give another example. So let's say, for example, you're a graphic designer, or maybe you're a clothing designer, and you're looking specifically to work with women. And when you look on Facebook, of course, there's lots of groups for women. But what you want to do is maybe go for a group that might be women who are obsessed with fashion or women looking to learn more about haute couture. Or you might look specifically for a group that's relevant to you and your subject. There's lots of different groups out there. So how do you now use a group to find your client, to get a referral, to get a lead? This is how you use a Facebook group to be able to generate new business. You show up and you give. You practice giving. You give your expertise, you give your insight, you give your experience, you give your perspective, you give your empathy, your resonance, you share your stories, you share whatever it is that you can to build relationship with the people in the group. Because here's the deal, folks. With digital marketing, with online marketing, we have come to realize that it's more about our relationships than how smooth our marketing message is or what our product or our service actually looks like. It's more about the relationship that we can have with people. So being in a group and participating and engaging with other people's posts and starting to be seen in this group as a valuable member or a contributor. Certainly a lot of times in groups, I've been tempted to just lurk in the background until a relevant topic comes up. You can do that if you're unsure, but definitely when you see something that you have an opinion about, you have an experience with, you have knowledge or resources, jump in, contribute, share. Even if you think, oh, somebody else has a better answer, don't worry about it. You will get practice showing up and being a contribution. In fact, these are the things that we practice in our mastermind group as well. How do you show up? How do you introduce yourself? How do you show up and contribute? How do you build those those relationships that end up leading to, oh, hey, there's somebody in my Facebook group that does that exact thing. Let me introduce you. Let me connect you. The other way to leverage Facebook groups, which is a little bit less organic than that, is to find Facebook groups that really support networking and offering your services. And there are a lot of Facebook groups out there that will allow you to pay to promote. And so here's the deal. When you get this opportunity to pay to promote yourself, you don't want to just do a cut and paste promotion. Even if you are in an organic Facebook group and they have specific days where you can post invitations to work with you or post your promotions uh, for free, don't just cut and paste the same marketing message all over the place. People are members of multiple groups. People will see things that are relevant come up in their timeline. And if they just see that you're just spamming the whole social media platform with the same message over and over again, what it does is it erodes your authenticity. It erodes your credibility of actually caring and wanting to build relationship with the people in that group. So do your best to craft your message and really consider the audience of that group. And yeah, it's gonna take you time to get to know that group, get to know the vibe in there, get to understand what might be relevant to that group when you post something. So leveraging Facebook specifically is a lot about getting into groups, showing up and participating and building relationships so that when you do post your invitation to come and work with you, it's not landing on cold ears. It's landing in a warm market that already knows you and likes you and trusts you. 
Because gang, that's really what marketing on any social media platform is about, is to move people from being total strangers to getting to know a little bit about who you are and what you do, what you're about and like your values and like how you explain things or how you share things so that they trust you to do a great job when you hire them. So that was about Facebook. LinkedIn, you leverage it a little bit differently. Instagram, you leverage a little bit differently as well. So if you have questions specifically about Instagram and LinkedIn, I'd love to help you with those. A lot of times it begins with finding your clients specifically, getting so clear on who your clients are that you can be strategic about who you follow on your social media platforms. So even specifically amongst Instagram and LinkedIn, one of the best strategies that I can offer you is to go and search for profiles that match your ideal client. Follow them, engage with them, build relationships with them, like their posts, not in an overly stalker kind of way, but in a sense of getting curious and getting to know them, especially if you are marketing to other businesses. Businesses often take a longer time to make a decision. They often will not necessarily be ready to buy right away. So being able to engage with them, to get to know their business, get to know the flow of what's important to them will give you so much more information when you go to make an offer, make a proposal, reach out to connect to them, or even what to post in your own messaging. Most of our marketing messaging wants to be totally relevant to a specific audience. So again, whatever you can do to get clear on who do you want as a referral? Who do you want as a new lead? And then go and follow and engage those people and those groups specifically. That's going to help you gather data and build relationship. And that's the number one way to leverage social media. Of course, there is paid advertising. So I didn't even touch on that in this episode of Coaching for Creatives. It's all about the organic ways that you can be able to uh, leverage your social media platforms. Even if you are going to pay to post in a group, have a clear message, have know exactly who you're talking to and have a clear call to action and don't cut and paste it. Make it unique to that audience and to that group. So gang, I think that is a lot in terms of different ways that you can use your social media platforms to be able to find new clients. Please post, what was your takeaway? What was the point that actually was an aha for you or something that you resonated with or have heard before? Let me know what you think in the comments and the threads. I always like to know what resonates with the audience. This has been Coaching for Creatives. I am Orma. McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and I will see you all here next week. Mm-hmm.